Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from Scales from the Masters. And in this video series, I'm gonna teach you how to sew a bossas fly, different ways of sewing a bossas fly. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. And this fabric you are seeing doesn't come with Florida back. Both sides of the fabric actually look the same, but the part you are seeing right now is the part that I wanna take as the right side of the material. So I'm gonna sew the first part of the fly. I'm going to fold up something uh, not more than one inch. This part that I'm sewing is actually the inner part of the fly. That's the part of the fly that is not always visible. The part that is always at the background. This is the part that I want to sew right now. As you can see how I folded it. Um, I didn't take up all the fabrics there. I just took some part of the fabric then I folded about one inch like i mentioned earlier this is the underground part of the fly now the one that i'm uh, that i want to show right now the one that you are seeing right now is the visible part of the fly the part of the material that okay let me show you what i did there at the I you know they are on the ground part of the fly. So what I'm doing now is the visible part of the fly. The part of the material you are seeing now is actually the wrong side of the fabric. Yeah, that's the wrong side of the fabric. And the part I want to show right now is the visible part of the fly. Um, I'm taking about two inches there. Yeah, I'm folding in about 2 inches there. It shouldn't be more than 2 inches. Then I'm going to run a straight line thread, uh, thread here. A straight line thread. When you're doing this, you got to make it to be as, you know, to be very straight as possible as you can. Then reaching towards the end there, you're going to see a curve. Following how the material, the fab, the bossas is being cut, as you can see how I did it, a, there's gonna be a sharp curve there. And you can see what I did there. Yeah, this is it. You can after sewing the straight lines towards the end, you are gonna see a curve there. Then you are gonna follow the sharp curve, sharp curve there. That that's what makes up the bossas fly. That's how a fly should look like you know so bringing the first part and the second part together with the second part on top of the first part the second part which is the visible part should be on top of the first part which is the background part then you are gonna sew towards that part as you can see in the video you're not gonna start for right from the beginning of that part you're gonna start around the middle of that area then after sewing that part you open the material as you can see the material is double so you separate them by opening the material then you're gonna sew you know at your left side as you can see in the video the side that i'm running the thread on the left side of the uh, work you don't have to sew on the right side if you sew on the right side you're actually getting it wrong the side to sew on is the left side and this side you are sewing this thread you are running now is the fundamental thread of the fly because without this thread there is nothing like a fly so this is the fundamental thread work of a fly then the measurement there i'm taking is about one inch i think one one quarter then i'm running a horizontal line a line that we cross that you go across the fly and this is actually how a fly is supposed to look like then um leaving some space there let me check the measurement um i'm leaving out about four inches there as the opening of the fly then running another horizontal line there and stopping at that area then to run the last thread to the top and that will be it. Oh. 
all right guys this is an idea fly as you can see the neatness of the work check out the curved area very very okay this is how a fly is supposed to look like this is actually as simple as it goes although it might seem a little bit difficult for a starter but for an experienced fellow someone like me i is just simple you know let's take a look at the back side uh, let's turn the material over you can see the back side of the fly you can check out that background part you can see how it looks yeah that's the the one on top now is the background side that area that's the back side of the fly okay we are already done with the fly but we can still do something extra as you can see what i'm doing right now i'm running a second thread work there starting from the curve area down to the bottom of the fly all right guys this is it the thread work i added uh, went like this from that top from that area to the curve area the horizontal line area uh, as you can see what i did there i added a second thread work there from the curve area down below uh, let me show you the measurement it's not up to half an inch yeah both of them not up to half an inch Alright guys, welcome to the second part of the fly tutorial. This is another way of sewing a bossa's fly. And let's jump right into it without wasting much time. I'm using the same kind of fabric here as you can see there. Yeah, the one that doesn't come with front and back. So placing both parts together, both, both front sides together. Uh, you can see there, um, by the way, the part of the material you are seeing uh, should be the wrong side of the material yeah the part of the material should be the wrong side of the material then the measurement I took there uh, was about one and a half inch about one and a half inch not more than one and a half inch and I'm gonna run a thread starting from there and getting to the curve part then out um, then what i'm gonna do now is to fold in this part uh, you can do it from the front or from the back either way can go so let me do it from the back right now what i folded there is not up to uh, one inch as you can see there at uh, this place i'm saying this place i, I just saw now is gonna be the wrong side of the fly that's the background side of the fly Let's check the measurement of the left out um, material about one and a half inch there. Then I'm gonna sew the visible part of the material right now. And uh, you know, uh, as as we have been doing it, uh, the measurement should be about two inches. Yeah, folding in about two inches there. And then I'm gonna run a straight line thread. Uh, we can check it with the tap as well, about two inches there. Then running a straight line thread there, and as I reach to the, the towards the curve side, then I'm gonna bring in the first side that I just sewn. You no, know, that part, that background part that I first sewed, so I'm gonna bring it in as you can see there, placing both of them together. I'm gonna um, let me show you clearly what I did there, reaching towards the curve area. I brought in the second part then folding both of them together i'm gonna run a thread and this thread i'm gonna run now which is the curve thread is gonna go on top of both uh, both uh, visible part of the fly and the background part of the fly the thread is on both of them now both of them are stitched together I 
and then turning to the front i'm gonna run the horizontal line uh getting it across the fly you know then i uh, did just the first horizontal line i uh, given some space there as usual then I, I i will also add the second horizontal line Alright guys, this is all there is to this style of Buster's Fly. Uh, check out what I did there, you can see it. This is the front side of the walk. Uh, I'm gonna show you the back side of the walk. Let me open it so that you can see how it looks like. Um, check out what I did there, you can see how neat and good it looks. Very good looking here, yeah, the back side. Very good looking at uh, all. So that was it. And what I'm about to do now is actually not necessary, uh, but I'll still do it anyway. This is just to give a final look to the work uh, by adding something extra. This is just the same thing I did with the second style I added some extra lines there two lines uh, starting from the curve area the lines that i gave about uh, half an inch space uh, although it's not really necessary with this kind of style You are welcome to the third tutorial of sewing a bossard fly. I remember best man, and um, this is actually another way of sewing a bossard fly. And uh, I'm using a pieces of material this time around because I want you to see all what I'm gonna do in this style. This kind of style is called piping. Uh, that white piece you can see there is what I'm gonna use to create the pipe. Um, the thread I'm using is a white thread on, on a blue material so that everything can be visible, the thread work and all. So um, I'm starting with the visible part of the fly. You can see it. I folded in something there about two inches. That side is the wrong side. This side is the right side of the fabric. Uh, you know, as always, the wrong side of the fabric you will be facing you when you are doing the visible part of the fly. Uh, so I'm going to run a straight line there, reaching towards the curve area. And uh, then I'll curve it too. You can see how visible the thread work there is. That's my purpose of using a blue material, a uh, piece of fabric actually. Um, I just did the. I just ran the second thread work there. You can see it very visible. Uh, then I'm gonna do the background part of the fly. Uh, the part of the material that is facing you is the right side of the material. It's the right side of the material actually. What I folded in there is not up to one inch. You can see it there. Um, I'm gonna run a straight line thread there, reaching to that end part. You can see what I did there. I folded in some something there, and that's it. Then placing both of them together, the background part of the fly and the visible part of the fly. The visible part of the fly is always gonna stay on top of the background part of the fly. They are gonna run a they're gonna run a thread on that part, starting around the middle of that uh, area. Then opening the both fabrics there to run another thread 
uh, actually on the right part of the work. I mean on the left part of the work, sorry. This thread here is actually very important. You must make sure uh, it's running on the left, there, the left part of the work. That the left hand part, that part that my hand is right now, that's the part the thread is going to run. Don't run on the right side of the fly, please. You can see what I did there. I stopped somewhere there. I didn't turn it to do the horizontal work, just like I've been doing. I stopped. Uh, just with the vertical line. I skip the first horizontal line, but I'm gonna run the second horizontal line after giving the space, the usual space there. Uh, I usually give about four inches there. Uh, reason because uh, this work is not gonna come with a button. I'm not putting a button on the fly. If I'm putting a button on the fly, then I should give uh, more space there. But because I'm not putting a button on the fly, that's why I usually give about three to four inches space there. So you can see what I did now. You can see how it's looking. Now I'm turning it over. This is the back side of the work. So what I'm going to do next now is to put in the piping First, check out what I did now. So I'm gonna put the pipe in there. Yeah, this is the white material I'm gonna use to put the pipe in there. I purposely decided I purposely decided to use the white material for this work so that everything I'm doing can be visible. And because this is not actually a real work, this is just some pieces of material. If I'm doing a real work, the uh, material I'm gonna use for the piping should be the same with the material for the work but this uh, pieces you know it's not actually useful so you can see how the pipe is being created um the width of the piping should be up to one inch you can see it and the length should be as long as the uh, i should be reaching the curve area of the bossard fly so placing the pipe on on the bottom of the uh, bottom end of the fly you can see it there where i place it and uh, the thread work there should be in the middle of the piping of the pipe then running the thread you are gonna run your thread at the edge of the pipe there yeah at the edge of that material um a straight line thread actually then this thread is gonna stop somewhere if if the pipe is actually longer than the curve area you're gonna cut it as i did now then the thread work should run to where you stop you saw what i did when i was showing the visible part of the fly i stopped somewhere that place i actually do a horizontal line yeah that's where the fly i mean the pipe is gonna stop actually Then the the piping you are gonna run the thread all around uh, without stopping. You gotta run both uh, left uh, top and the right part of the the pipe all around those three areas. You are gonna run a thread and all of them at the edges actually as I'm doing right now. Then after running the thread. You're gonna turn the work. Yeah, first of all, see how it's looking at the back. Then I'm gonna turn the front to show you how it's gonna look. Okay, now this is our work. Um, a lot of uh, threads there, a lot of dirt there, but you can see the main thread. Our main thread work and uh, you can see everything clearly because the thread is very visible as a result of what I did you know uh, running a white thread on a blue material uh, you know I'm not gonna do this on a normal work but this is just a piece of material as you can see 
and then it's now time to put in the horizontal line that I skipped earlier. Is when you put the pipe in first, then you are gonna run the horizontal line. Remember that is very important. Okay, now yeah, you can see the effect of the piping. The lines there are actually three. Yeah, that is the effect of the piping. You can see this is another kind of versus fly. Check out the background. You know what I told you. If this is a real work, I'm not gonna use the white material for the piping. I'm gonna use the same material uh, as the the same material for the work is the same the material that is supposed to be used for the piping. Now this is how it's looking, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, how many lines there? One, two, three. Although uh, the lines there are not actually perfect. If I'm if, if this is a real work, I'm gonna be more careful to maintain a straight line. All right, guys. Welcome to the last part of the video. I'm still best man. Actually, this is a bonus video because what I'm gonna do now is what I've already done. You know, um, this is actually a bonus. I'm I'm sure I know every one of us like bonuses, so this is a bonus I'm giving to you. Um, please, if you like this video, which I'm sure you are gonna do, please don't hesitate to subscribe, like, and share this video. Also, turn on the notification button because scares. Scales from the masters is fully loaded with different kinds of videos that you are gonna learn something from. Okay, I believe you know what I did there because I have done it a couple of times. Um, this side of the material you are seeing is the wrong side of the material which is very obvious. And the part of the fly I'm sewing is the visible part of the fly, the part that is visible when the bustle is being is, is being put on. This is it, uh, about two inches. That was the measurement. Then this is the background or the inner part of the fly. As you can see, the side of the material facing us is the right side of the material. You know, this material comes with front and back. So everything here is very obvious, and the what I folded in there is uh, not up to one inch. You can see it clearly. Although this kind of fly, you know, it can differ. Uh, it actually differ from the ones I've been doing. It's actually slightly different from the ones I've been doing, but um, everything from the beginning is still the same but I'm gonna show you where the difference comes in and all these places I'm doing now they remain the same with the other uh, fly styles Okay, this is where the difference comes in. Uh, you can see what I did now. Please take a closer look. Look carefully to see what I did there. I folded something there. Uh, that's the background part. I folded something there so that I'm going to run. The thread I'm running now We run on top of that. Uh, that thing that I folded there, then uh, the horizontal line, that's just the difference, nothing else, you know, every other thing uh, comes uh, just like I've been doing it, then after the horizontal line, then, okay, uh, you know the extra I usually do, uh, yeah, the extra I usually do, the one that I, I usually give a uh, space of not more than half an inch yeah that's it then after that uh, the next thing okay take a look at it before i proceed i uh, i think i have to take the measurement there not more than half an inch i'm also gonna do the same you know to the 
uh, uh, starting uh, to the damp part of the bursa's fly, uh, starting from the damp part uh, reaching the curve area. Uh, yeah, that's the same thing I'll be doing actually. Okay, now uh, after the space, yeah, after the space there, then the horizontal line, you know, and running the thread uh, to the top end of the walk. And that's it. Uh, that's just a process fly. Uh, nothing else is necessary. You can see, although uh, there are some other things that can be done, like some tacking, stitching, and all that, but it's just a basic process fly. Uh, okay, um, as I already told you, this is just a bonus video. I've done the part that I, I supposed to show you now. This is something extra as I'm as I'm showing the back of the bosses now. Um, I, yeah, I've already done a video uh, about how to sew a bosses completely, but this is a bonus actually showing the back part of the bosses fly i'm gonna do the complete work there after the back both the back part both the legs and all that yeah this is what we do on skates from the masters uh the only way you can support us uh, one of the ways actually you can support us is by subscribing to this channel hit the subscribe button that's just it then you can like and share our videos uh, hit the notification button so that you can be notified when a new video is being you know added i'm gonna fast forward this video now because i've already covered this part i'm doing now in case you don't understand it you can check out uh, you can check in the channel, you can see a title of how to sew a bossas completely there. This is case from the masters. Thanks for watching.